Hello, fifth graders. Happy Wednesday. So we've learned let the cat out of the bag to allow a secret to be known, usually without intending to, or to reveal something either by accident or as a surprise. If someone is out cold, they are unconscious or sleeping very heavily. Now, pull the trigger. Literally, it means to pull the trigger of a weapon like this one, an armed weapon or a gun, to pull the trigger and make the bullet go, to shoot something or somebody. Um, so that's what pull the trigger means. So obviously when you pull the trigger literally, then you know that's it, it's, it's happening, right? So similarly, this idea of something happening and you're just doing it, you can't really take it back once you pull the trigger. Um, figuratively, it means to make a final decision, to commit to a certain course of action. So you've, you can't really go back, you've made a decision, you've committed, you're doing it, okay? So usually people talk about pulling the trigger when they have like an important decision to make. So let's say um, you're thinking about trying out for the soccer team and you're not really sure, you're, you're still developing your skills, you're nervous and anxious about it, um, you didn't make the team before and so now you're not sure if you should go for it. So you think about it, maybe you talk to your parents and you're discussing it and you're like, okay, you know what, I'm going to pull the trigger, I'm going to go for it. So that means you're going to try, you're gonna, you've made a decision, you're going to do it. Now, in the Watsons go to Birmingham, pull the trigger was actually used literally. Um, it was used to talk about how Mr. Robert said that he couldn't pull the trigger anymore with his dog, Toddy, when they would go hunting because they just couldn't do it anymore. They couldn't bring it, they couldn't bring themselves to, to kill any more animals. So it was actually used literally in the novel, but I wanted to share it because it's a... Um, it's a pretty common idiom anyway, so I wanted to teach it literally and figuratively. So figuratively, I came up with this sentence. In the Watsons go to Birmingham, dad and mama pulled the trigger to have Byron go to Alabama for the summer to straighten up. It was a tough decision to make. So again, we generally use this idiom when we're thinking about something, a hard decision, um, something that we're kind of like, on the fence about you might remember that idiom when you're like kind of caught between okay do I do this thing or the other thing like what should I do so when you're thinking about something wondering and you're trying to make a good a decision you're not really sure but you're like okay you know what I'm gonna go for it that means you're pulling the trigger we're working on the suffix li which means characteristic of in a manner of we learn bravely in a brave manner Boldly, in a bold manner. Bold meaning not afraid of taking risks and making difficult decisions. Today we have the word quickly, quickly. In chapter 13, Byron didn't hesitate and quickly jumped into the whirlpool to save Kenny. Quickly. What does it mean? It means in a quick manner. And obviously quick means fast, doing something fast. So he did it very quickly. He didn't hesitate at all. We are working on the Latin root tract, which means drag or pull. Drag or pull, we've learned contract, an official agreement between two or more people. So they're pulled in to an agreement. To extract means to remove an object from somewhere, especially with difficulty. So if somebody is extracted from a place, they're pulled out of um, a hard place to get them out of. Or if you get your tooth extracted because it's decayed, there's a cavity, then you get your tooth pulled. To retract means, or if you retract something that you have said or agreed, you say that you did not mean it. So this visualization here is of two people having a conversation and maybe one person has to retract what they said or they they have to take back. It means having to take back something that you agreed on or something that you said. Maybe you made a mistake. So um, as an example, um, I recently had to re send a, re a retraction email. I had 
uh, told my the parents of my students that we were going to have Junior Achievement Day, and then the Junior Achievement volunteers had to cancel. So I had to retract what I had just said, um, that we could not have Junior Achievement Day because our day was postponed. So that's what that means. Like you, it could, it doesn't have to be like anything bad. It just means, you know, there's a change in plans or you just, you, or maybe you regret what you say, but to retract means it's like take it back. So it's still this idea of pulling back because you have to take back what you said for whatever reason, okay? Here's a sentence from our novel. Kenny retracted what he said about wanting to have a fantastic adventure at Collier's Landing. It wasn't fun at all. So to retract, to take something back that you agreed on, to not mean what you actually said, okay? So we've learned uh, retract today quickly and pull the trigger. Great job, fifth graders.